Yo, what's up guys, new video on the six star room crafting event. Slightly different than last year. Last year we could do the plus sixes. But in this case, we have it slightly different where we can do uh, four of them, but they're not plus six. But I'm not entirely sure how things work yet. So I actually uh, got my second account that I've been using for I don't know how long. It has a bunch of mana and that kind of stuff. And there is an easy way to get a lot of these. Like it's literally the event started like 19 minutes and I got 800 points already. And the easiest way is actually by using grindstones. Using grindstones and using gemstones. Is, you can, it's literally the easiest thing right now with this thing. You just select the rune and you just select something and you start using everything on everything. And the lower the better because even if you do these and you start enchanting them like six times over this every time is five points so that's five points that's another five points it's just gonna burn your mana and all of these kind of gems but that's the very easiest way to get this like very early on so besides that let's look into what this event actually does because what i think it does is that you select the room type which we're going to do in this case let's say a violent we are going to confirm that yes sir and I also give my recommendations what you should maybe get as well. So we're going to get a slot 2 in this case. And we're going to get slot 2 to speed, of course. And we will confirm that. Then we actually have different substats. And we can change and reroll the substats. So we can change it until it's something like that. We can change it. And it can have a... Um, it can have a prefix or it can not have a prefix. So there's two options between those. So with that set, and since you cannot um, get them to anything better, let's say, let, let's get to a rune where we actually, how many points do we have left? Not that much. I'm not playing this account anyways. Let's say this is the rune we want. We claim that, and then we get that rune with that in it that we claim. So once we obtain all of this, we will actually get this rune. So the thing is, what are people going to focus on or what do I recommend people to focus on? What I recommend actually people to focus on is slot twos. And the main reason I say slot twos is because let's say you go with slot four crit rate. The only stat you want on a slot four crit rate to hold roll, the only stat you want on a slot four crit rate you want to have a high roll in is speed. Crit damage is kind of more all round. You kind of want your speed, your attack, your crit rate. But in most cases, you're kind of speed chasing. Most slot six, you kind of want to speed chase. So therefore, if you build a slot two with whatever innate, and you have HP, defense, attack, and then crit rate or accuracy, then you have a uh, rune, no matter what it rolls in, if it rolls high, it's a very good rune. And technically, I think it is possible. Let's see if it is. I think we have enough points. Um, from what I... Sure, like if I go this one right now and I do another slot to speed, that is not possible. But were I to say, okay, I want to have a swift slot two, I can actually go for this one on speed as well. That is possible. So I first have to confirm that. But you can actually do, uh, you can do a fire one, a swift one, a will one, a despair one. That's what I'm going to do. Doesn't mean that you have to do the exact same thing. But the reason why I do it, because all of the lines it can roll in are going to be useful. So if it rolls high, it's immediately a useful roll. I would most definitely aim for having a prefix in there as well, which is going to be a lot harder to roll for. It's going to take a long time to actually roll all of those things. But the event is running quite a while because it goes for like 44 days. So don't expect to be done with this event in like the first week. Don't be impatient. You have four runes. Just kind of take like it, okay, I have to finish the rune in like 10 days. Because there's some other stuff you can buy as well, which we'll check out in a second. Um, a reason that you might say that you actually want to go a slot 4 or a slot 6 for HP or an attack or great crit damage, anything like that, is because you don't have a re-up target. This is a very easy way to create the perfect re-up target. So rather than having the perfect substats that you're aiming for, you're just aiming for the perfect prefix stat. So with that, you can easily say like, okay, I want to have a slot six. I want to have a prefix of eight accuracy. 
I'm just going to focus on until I have that. Once I have that, I'll buy that one and then I start re -up. That is an option to create four re targets with this. But you're kind of betting on, well, let's say I want to spread my chances with this. Like you can really go for like, okay, I'm going to get like the 30 speed room with this one. Good luck because you got to do four rolls of that afterwards as well. So in my take, personally, I'm not going to get re-up targets from this because I have way too many re-up targets in the first place. So I'm just going to get all slot twos. My main aim is for the HP, attack, defense, and accuracy. I think on all of them, but if it happens to get good crit rate, I would take that as well. Because getting a slot two with high accuracy is pretty rare. Like just, just check on your account. Like I'm pretty sure on my account, uh, like for Swift, it's like 26. For Vio, it's like 26. For Will, it's 24. It's pretty hard to get like good triple rolls or even quad rolls on accuracy or crit rate on the slot twos. And these are very valuable. So that's kind of my aim that I'm aiming for, just high value slot twos. That is pretty much what I'm doing. Afterwards, you can also get the hero grinds and enchants. I would get anything legend for something that you are lacking most. So I would say bio, swift, or will. Maybe aim for the speeds, or in this case, not necessarily for the speeds, but for the HP, defense, and uh, attack. Um, legendaries. And then for this artifact, I've seen people try to get artifacts of legendary with four lines of additional damage. That's near impossible. Do not do that. That's you. You. I re uh, remember finishing like the whole previous event and just doing the second artifact took me the half of the other event. Like the first artifact I had pretty fast. Second artifact took me half of the event. It took insanely long, and I farm a lot. So, and I actually made it easier than four lines legendary. Go for three lines, either legendary or hero. Preferably even hero, because if you have three lines on a hero of additional damage, I prefer to have somewhat high rolls, because if you start off with low rolls, it's very likely that you will end up with a very low rolled artifact in general. But it is easier to roll in one of the three lines than it is to roll in one of the four lines. So if you have one shitty line, the one resistance line, or it's going to go on to resistance. So yeah, that's what you have with those. And that's pretty much the end of the event. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go definitely for the runes first. I am not going to focus on this one and this one at all until probably like five to maybe 10 days towards the end of the event. That's, that's kind of my give or take that I will do. Uh, a thing that I also like to do is at some point uh, maybe do like one or two runes at the same time. If you think like, hey, one rune is maybe good, but I could upgrade and maybe get it better. Then start adding in a second rune and start rolling that as well. And just kind of see like how time progresses, how much you farm, how many of these po points you're going to get. Because you're going to need a lot of points because rolling this, especially where you can also roll for the substat, which either is or isn't there. Like, for example, you can have the perfect substats, but I mean the prefix, so prefix is or isn't there. Let's say you have the perfect substats, but there's no prefix. It's not going to be a re-up target in 9 out of 10. But would it still be a good rune then? Yeah, but that's that, that's it's literally adding like another layer of RNG because it is or isn't there. Like, there's RNG whether it is or isn't there. So... That will take a good time to fix all of those four runes because technically the plus tw uh, sixing that we did earlier in the event, that took a very small portion of the amount of time that we were re-rolling those. So these four that we have to re-roll right now is literally like 1.5 times as hard as the previous ones. And instead of doing two back then, we have to do four right now. So... Like I said, do not expect to finish this event within like a day or two days or something like that. Take like, you got 44 and a half day. Expect to be done with like 30, 35 days and then start working on like the other things or something like that. That's my take on it. Also, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this event. If you think this one is better or worse than the previous one. I think it's, of course, it's worse because the plus um, six are more OP. But I also feel like the plus sixes are so hit or miss. Like people are going to get 18 speeds, other people are going to get 30 speeds. Like the gap between that is insanely big. Some people are going to hit like two times like 30 speeds or like whatever, that kind of crazy stuff, or like 27 and 28. 
from other people get like the 18 and 18 they get nothing so i think that one is too hard of a hit or miss this one is a little bit less like that it's to actually get something very good from this is still difficult um, but I think it's a nice mechanic to get like mainly good re-up targets. Like let's say you're missing a slot six attack bio with an innate of accuracy. You really would like to re-up that because slot six's attack currently are a lot more used than previously, I would say. Say for slot four's attack or slot four crit rates or anything like that. Those runes are very easy to create from here rather than that you have to spend money on like uh, rune packs or anything like that so for that i kind of like this event but it is definitely a downgrade from the one from last so let me know in the comments what you guys think about it thanks for watching and see you in the next